get a copy of your home office file. Hello guys, Svetlana Shlapak, the founder of UK Visa Success that comes here and you probably wonder why you need uh, to get a copy of your home office file to make this subject access request this is how it is known making subject access request and in today's video i'm going to explain uh, the circumstances why you may want to make uh, such an application and also we are going uh, to cover the following i'll start with explaining what a subject access request is, why you should make such a request, who can make this request, where you need to be geographically in order to make it, when you should make it, how long it will take for the Home Office to respond and how to make such a request. And guys, if during watching this video you decide that you would like to know more about this subject access request, please visit ukvisasuccess.com forward slash S-A-R, which stands for Subject Access Request, and ask for this information and you'll get it within 60 seconds. So let us begin. And let us start with the what question. Requesting personal information uh, which uh, the Home Office holds on you is also known as making subject access request. The right to access uh, also referred to as a right uh, to access and uh, data subject access is one of the most fundamental rights in uh, data protection laws around the world. It is a written request to a company or organization asking for access to the personal information it holds on you. And you have a right to request your file, not only from the Home Office, but from almost any company or organization in the UK or in the world for that matter. This is a legal right everyone in the UK or in the world has that you can exercise at any point for free in most of these circumstances. And why do you want to exercise this right? You may want to do this to review a copy of your immigration file or to verify the lawfulness of processing of your personal data. Sometimes it is very helpful to have a copy of your home office file when, for example, you are in the process of preparing your indefinite leave to remain application or you would like to make a private life in the UK application where you need to prove your long residence or you would like to make a British citizenship application where you need to prove that you meet the absences rules. This is particularly helpful for frequent travelers where you travel a lot and you're not quite sure whether you are within uh, these limits and whether or not you comply with the absences requirements. Or you can also find it really helpful to request a copy of your file where you have unclear immigration history or where you or your legal representative would like to check your uh, previous applications or where your previous applications were refused and you're not sure what's happened there and you would like to check it. Also, you can request a copy of your file if you had an interview uh, with the Home Office representative and you would like to check uh, what was recorded on your file. Uh, where should you be in order to request a copy of your file? Is it mandatory for you to be in the UK or can you be outside? Guys, uh, it's absolutely not necessary for you to be in the UK and the files are now delivered to you in the digital format so you can be anywhere in the world. Who can make uh, your subject access request? It can be either you or your legal representative. If you'd like your legal representative to make uh, this uh, subject access request on your behalf, then you will also need to sign uh, what is known as authorization form confirming that you are okay with the Home Office sending a copy of your file to your legal representative. 
when should you make such a request? Well, the Home Office says it normally takes 40 days for them to find your file and then to send it to you. However, in practice, it can take anywhere between 24 hours to 540 and nine days and therefore the answer is make your request as soon as possible because as you've seen it may take time for the home office to send this information to you according to the rules the home office has to reply to you without delay at the latest within one month starting from the date they received your subject access request they can extend the period of compliance by a further two months where your requests are complex or numerous but then they must inform you within one month of the receipt of the request and explain why an extension is necessary uh, they also must provide you with a copy of your personal data requested in the subject access request uh, free of charge however they can charge you a reasonable fee where they classify your requests such as unfounded or excessive and this is particularly true uh, with repetitive requests and they may also charge you a reasonable fee for requests of further copies of the same information but guys it's highly unlikely uh, to apply in this case because nowadays most of the files will be in the a digital form also they have to give you information in a commonly used format but the way it takes a disproportionate effort or if you agree to some other form then this can be arranged as well how can you request a copy of your file first of all you need to decide what type of information you would like to get and there are three types of information which you can request from the home office uh, the basic specific and detailed so let us have a look at these requests first one is the basic one this is uh, where you would like to request a copy of the electronic summary of your immigration history also copies of your lending cards where they hold them electronically and also copies of your visa applications if you submitted them from outside the uk you can also get uh, information on the worker registration scheme if you are national of czechia estonia hungary uh, latvia lithuania poland slovakia or slovenia also they hold entry and exit information for you and uh, they can provide you with your travel history for up to five years moving on to the specific requests uh, you can request up to five single documents of some specific information and this can be for example a list of all the applications you've made or a particular decision letter the outcome of an appeal or appeal determination a particular detention progress report if someone was detained or a deportation order or a particular interview records and the last one which i normally make on behalf of my clients is uh, called a detailed request this is where you can get a copy of the paper file and what uh, the home office normally does in these circumstances they initially send you a copy of your electronic summary of this file and if you'd like to know more you can request them to send you a copy of the paper file as well to start the application process you need to complete uh, the online form and also after completing and submitting the line form and after you have a checklist of everything you've submitted you also need to send email to the dedicated home office email address with the documents confirming your identity these documents can be your passport your driving license a biometric residence card nationality identity cards or a travel documents and together with these documents you also need uh, to send a true likeness a written statement which should be provided by either your legal representative uh, someone who is registered uh, with the office for the immigration services commissioner or from any solicitor or barrister 
or chartered legal executive or a commissioner for us or a representative of a registered a charity and they will need to confirm in their statements that the photo document which you are providing is your true likeness guys as i mentioned before if you'd like to have the link to the application form and to see a copy of the template application form you're very welcome to request it at uk visa success.com forward slash s a r subject access request and you will get it within 60 seconds it's completely free and it is very fast as well this is all we wanted to discuss in today's video i would like to remind you that um, i am sending a uk visa success.com newsletter to all uk visa success dot com community this is a very succinct letter which i send on a weekly basis where i update everyone on the developments in uk immigration law and also i organized a free master classes explaining various aspects of uk immigration law and answering um frequently asked questions of the uk visa success dot com community and uh, also there is a podcast uh, where I, again i explain various aspects of uk immigration law and i help uh, understand uh, this area of law better but also you're very welcome to visit uk visa success dot com forward slash more where you'll find plenty of resources explaining various aspects of immigration laws and providing further information which is completely free have an amazing week, guys.